stays for hours in a day and I get to do math, hey, hooray. Y equals MX plus B with Mr. Ng. We're making history. Test students, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So the end goal is not to be successful. Uh, if you fail, that's not the end of it and you don't die. Um, it's courage that keeps you count, keeps you going. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be doing um, these this whole week. I'm going to try something different. One on one meetings. OK, uh, so solo directions. You're going to take a picture of these directions because we're going to be doing this Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. You're going to go to the Zoom chat and I'll put a link of the Week at a Glance Pair Deck. Basically, you'll watch the Week at a Glance number 28 video on slide number one in pink or in the, um, yeah. And then take notes, especially of due dates. You'll complete slides 11 through 13, which will have some questions for you. And each day, uh, these solo directions will kind of change. And then when you are done, I want you to work on lesson 4.1, uh, but stay in the video conference. When you, everyone will be invited to the breakout room, but I'll be in the breakout room and then the person that gets kind of like tagged, you go in, okay? So it's a one-on-one -on -one video conference. You must use video or audio. And it should only take like three to five minutes. I'm gonna call this assignment 28.4, uh, one-on-ones this week and, or if you need to, office hours. If you complete this, I will drop your lowest quiz score. So definitely get that done this week. Um, only go to the breakout room when you are tagged. A person will type your name in the chat or say your name out loud. What kind of order? So I'm not sure on your side, but I think on my side it has this. The order we will go in is alphabetical first name because that's what the participants list in Zoom has. And then basically when you are tagged, you will go in and answer two questions from slide 11. I think this is slide 11. So just answer two um, of these four questions. Uh, I call this a one, one, two, two. It's a reflection. So write complete sentences and use math vocabulary when appropriate. What math uh, concept do you need? Do you not understand? And what will you do about it? What one assignment do you need to turn in? Have questions on, or are you all done? And reflect on two math concepts you've learned recently. Or number four, in general, not just math. What are two specific ways you can improve as a person and student? Grid view. And our game plans, week 28, March 8th to March 12th. Uh, we're going to, I believe, week 39. So we only have 11 weeks left of school. We're starting chapter four, which is about probability. Our learning goal students will be able to interpret probability on their guided notes. Here is my Common Core standard. Basically, we're focused on simulation. So this is our game plan. Uh, what else is on our agenda? School and room 902 news. Week at a glance, number 28, and of course we'll be doing the one-on-ones. So this is the official timeline. We have spring break 22 to the 26th. So we are on March 8th. So two more weeks till spring break. And I think this is the end of the quarter. That's what that mark means, which is this may mark a minimum day. I will get official notice, but that's what we have on the calendar. So if you want anything to count for the quarter grade, definitely turn it in by March 12th. And then even two days after spring break, these are non-student days. And it was official, the vote on late Thursday night by the school board voted to stay home for our district. So we will remain in this current schedule that we have. I updated some grades over the uh, weekend. I think I got your participation grades in there and your test scores as well. Khan Academy check coming up. Wow, check that out guys, um, 24 days. Uh, member participation, I can check by Zoom. So. Um, and your Pear Deck. If you need help, there's the school tutoring right here, or you can just make an appointment with me. If you need some step-by-step uh, -step instructions to make a, an appointment with me, just click on this video and watch it. Uh, here's my clubs. And um, the big, one of the biggest announcements on this room, room 902 news is that your chapter three test, I opened it last Thursday. I'm closing it tomorrow, 3, 9, Tuesday at 3 p.m. So you can take it in class. Um, Monday or Tuesday, but the big idea is that you finish the test and um, slides 11 through 13 or whatever I have up here for you each day. But the goal is that you have some time to work on your lessons. 
Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Week 28 essential question, how can you interpret probability? So right now we're going over the week at a glance 28. I'm doing one-on-one -on -one conferences and you are starting lesson 4.1. So go ahead and click on it. 48 minute video, you can work on it today and tomorrow in class. I'll be continuing on the one-on-ones. Uh, Wednesday, Ink Synchronous, you're working on homework 4.1, or if you finish early, you can just work on 4.1. And then by Thursday in class, I'll have released lesson 4.2 and you'll work on it for two days. If you have not turned in assignment 27.4, which is in yellow, go ahead, it's still uh, on time. It's considered late once I post a grade in Aries, which I have not touched this one yet. And then uh, we are starting on 4.1. That is the reflection, and that's all I have for you guys for week 28. We'll see you guys later. Bye. 24 hours in a day, and I get to do math. Hey, hooray. Y equals mx plus b with Mr. Ng. We're making history.